We're all ready to go. Um, let's get started. So th thank you for joining. Uh, this is our 2021 uh, Telecloud Roadmap call. Uh, we want to um, bring you up to date uh, on lots of exciting things for what the future brings, especially this year, short term and long term. And uh, Adam, why don't you go to the next screen? We'll uh, introduce ourselves for those who may or may not know us on the call. So my name is Vincent Finaldi. I've been the vice president of sales here, sales here for a while, probably like 15 years or so. And um, this is my family. Uh, you'll notice the little guy, he's, he's uh, hot off the press. He's about eight weeks. We had him the day before Thanksgiving. So my life is full of diapers and babies and, and all good things. Um, Damon, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Damon Finaldi, president of Telecloud. Uh, there is a picture of my beautiful family that I've had the joy of working home with for the last couple of months since they went to virtual school. Hmm. Hopefully that trend will end shortly, but we'll talk more about that momentarily. <laughs> Adam? And I'm Adam Staryak. I'm one of the engineers here at Telecloud. I've been here for about five years now. And uh, the picture is there, me with my fiance uh, on the beach at Atlantic City shortly before the world kind of took a halt for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why don't you head over to the next slide, Adam? So uh, we know what 2020 was like. Uh, we're not going to rehash that too deeply. Um, so we wanted to keep this webinar light, informative. Uh, we, we expect it to go about 30 minutes, but, but we're doing this for you. So feel free to um, ask any questions in the web chat and we'll address them later. And um, we, we also have the, uh, the Q&A is opened and being monitored. So if Absolutely. you have any questions, you can throw it in there as well. And uh, why don't we head over to the next slide before I get dizzy looking at Michael Scott. <laughs> so I want to, so who's going to introduce us first is Damon. He's going to start with the macro side of our industry from a technology perspective. And then Adam and I will, will get into the micro stuff uh, so we can help you with your product and um, we'll take it from there. So Damon, why don't you take it away? Great. Thanks, Vince. So last March for many of us, uh, we had shifted uh, with the challenges that were faced with COVID to either work from home, a hybrid model, masks in our businesses, children not in school. It was just a whole new shift of paradigm behavior across the board. Uh, one of the things that we saw as a business, and we started to work from home ourselves, was an uptick uh, from March to June of us helping our clients work from home and really try to enable them to still be effective with servicing their customers with the different technologies we provide. And that trend persisted. Now, here we are now, it's, it's January of 2021. It looks like we're heading into a sequel, but that being said, we've believed that there's been an adoption of technology that normally would have taken us 10 years to, to have. It was almost a generational adoption that occurred in three months. Um, next slide, please. For instance, uh, we're, we're already talking about work from home. So many of our clients that are now running their inside sales teams, patient medical scheduling groups, customer service and technical support, have people working from home, working from the office. In fact, sometimes we don't even know where your teams are working. We just want to help them be effective wherever they are. Uh, Zoom. Zoom went from 10 million to 200 million users in three months. So... I did not buy the stock. That's a whole nother conversation. Uh, that's something I wish we could have gone back from. And Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams now has over 115 million daily users. So if you guys have your screen up and you wouldn't mind, we, we did a short poll here. Just curious if anyone is using any of these technologies on a daily basis to either run your businesses, interact with clients, whatever it may be. If you could go ahead and click uh, an option there, uh, we'll take 15 seconds and then we'll move on. So I actually see, I, I can see the live results coming in and uh, it seems like an, a large amount over, you know, 60% are using Zoom, which is not all that surprising. And then it looks like Microsoft Teams and then a mix of them, which I assume is probably also a mix of Zoom and Teams is kind of the, uh, the third place finisher there. Yeah. Some of our uh, colleagues uh, in different industries, uh, legal and medical are, are Zoom is now part of their vernacular, where 12 months ago, I don't think they knew what video conferencing was. I think it's all part of our daily lives now. Next slide. So what does that mean for our business, helping you service your customers? Well, 
unified communications is here to stay. Um, before March, when we tried to explain this to people, I don't think it made as much sense, or if it did, um, they understood it, but it really didn't impact their day-to-day -day lives, and now it's more apparent than ever before. So with our telecloud system, what does it bring you in one platform? It brings you your phone calls wherever you're working. It brings you the user portal that gives you access to communicate with your teams through things like SMS, voicemail, chat. You can have your faxing in your dashboard. Things like your contact center, where you're able to get your customer service stats on one screen, even if your team members are not working in the same building anymore. We, we now have things like CRM integration we're going to be talking to you more about and integrations with Microsoft Teams. Um, our mobile applications that are accoutrements because sometimes we're not at our desks. For me, I sometimes literally have to leave at 12 o'clock to drop my kid off at school because they have a hybrid schedule, but I still want to be productive and I can take a call from this device. Um, text transcription services, and lastly, of course, video conferencing. These are now all things that are available in a unified communications platform. Um, we're going to talk more about that next. Great. So um, as Damon uh, mentioned, uh, this is what we wanted to cover for you uh, from a high level perspective. Uh, work from anywhere solutions, uh, telecloud phone features available, or at least the most popular ones. Telecloud call center dashboard for those of you who are running a call center for your business. A Telecloud uh, HD video, which is um, what we're using now. And uh, Telecloud CRM integration, which is tying the phones in with various software programs like Teams. So I'll, I'll take over the first couple introductions and then it'll kick it back over to Damon and Adam. So <clears throat> current work from anywhere options uh, from a hardware perspective. So I want to start with what problem are we trying to solve? It isn't about just shipping phones to home offices. So the problem we've noticed is a lot of our clients, so we have the privilege of working with uh, a few hundred New Jersey-based clients. Um, so when COVID hit, we saw a lot of trends. A, a lot of the businesses were routing calls to cell phones. So there's many people that work within a company and their extension was simply routing to the cell phone, which a lot on the surface sounds like a good solution, but here's what we, came, here's what we uncovered. When a call routes to a cell phone, um, at times that client can be text messaging you off hours. And then when you call the customer back, it shows the personal cell phone. So it completely bypassed the corporate phone system. So nothing could be measured, tracked, recorded. And it's almost uh, like the phone call didn't happen from a business perspective. So what does shipping the physical IP phone at a home office environment does is it allows the employee or the manager or whomever to communicate with clients from their home office, even if their home office is in their kitchen. Uh, it really doesn't matter anymore. So when customers are like, well, what do I need? It, it's very straightforward. You need a new series of an IP phone, which is a Polycom VVX 250, a Wi-Fi adapter to connect wirelessly over the internet, and a power supply to power the phone. And the rest we take care of from a programming perspective. So to solve the problem of all calls routing to cell phones, uh, it's easy to just ship out a Polycom phone and that could um, help with that. And, and additionally, we put a picture of here of a couple of headsets and a dog barking. Um, another issue we're finding with home office environments, it's noise. Whether you have children at home that aren't at school for obvious reasons, whether you have a dog or two that loves to bark whenever the UPS guy comes, there's constant interruptions at home that wasn't as obvious in a business environment. So higher end headsets really help um, you know, in lieu of like Apple earbuds, which is a great product, it's just a high quality business grade headset has noise canceling capability, and it makes the audio experience much better for the employee and for the client that they're trying to serve on the phone. Well, and Vince, I think the other mm -hmm. thing that changed too is uh, in March to June, there was an understanding that we were all going through this. Uh, the issue that we also see now is now there's an expectation where those interruptions aren't acceptable anymore because we are using these technologies. So for me, the reason I'm wearing a noise canceling headphone is simply because there's so much ambient noise in my background, I can't hear myself think. Plus, I kept losing a charge on all my devices. So my, my Apple earbuds would die after two hours. My, my, my iPhone charger would die. And it simply wasn't long enough to run my business day because I can't be in the middle of a conference call and then plug my yeah. iPhone in as I'm talking on a 45 degree angle because it's plugged into the wall. Are, are you saying that you've been interrupted before with four children? Are you admitting that? On uh, this the, the, and webinar? the dog. It just okay. happened 15 Got minutes it. ago. Fair enough. <laughs> Please so. go back to school. Please. <laughs> Got it. All right. So Adam, we'll take it over to the next slide. 
Sure. So certain, so in certain situations, a physical phone works for our client, whether it's the demographic of the person on the phone or answering a lot of calls, <clears throat> but it doesn't always have to be the case. So a couple other options that are even easier to deploy is simply a telecloud web phone and the telecloud mobile app. And what we're finding is for the average person making, you know, a few calls a day that just wants to be connected to the phone system, the telecloud web phone uh, works wonderfully. Um, even for someone in a call center. So the web phone is exactly what it sounds like. It's a f it's phone that's used on your desktop. So in these type of situations, the headsets does become a little more important because you know, you, you're truly just using the computer. So all, all the reasons we mentioned with the audio experience, we, we do strongly recommend getting uh, headsets. Yeah, Vin, and one of the things that we found, because once again, guys, we always look to make things easy to use is the web phone doesn't require any software to download. You simply need Chrome, you log into your user credentials, which are password protected, and then you could be using your phone system, whether you're on an iPad, a laptop, a notebook, or even your desktop, it does not matter. For our clients that are running their remote customer service groups inside sales teams, uh, the web phone is definitely the option where our mobile app, which is highly effective, as an accompanying technology. So we do not want our clients using the mobile app for high call volume environments like a uh, receptionist in a law firm, uh, a patient scheduling group that if you're getting eight to 10 calls an hour, the mobile app is not designed for that. But all these technologies, whether you're using the hardware or the software, allow you to park your calls, transfer your calls, conference your calls, and you're meant to have the same user experience regardless of where you're working with your team. Correct. And uh, Adam, mind uh, heading over to the next slide? Yep. So I, I just put on here the, the most straightforward, popular feature in the whole telecom industry. It's simply voicemail to email. <clears throat> and this is available for all users, all employees. There's no charge for this. So anytime a voicemail is left on someone's mailbox, um, it could be sent to their personal email address as a WAV file. And additionally, it could be managed through the user portal, which is available for all, um, all, all the users on the system. So this is something available to anyone at any time. We just simply need the email address and uh, we get them on the, the portal. And uh, before I kick it over to Damon, I would say the top three features clients keep asking us about for working from home is voicemail to email with text transcription. That's taking the voicemail and having it be able to read it. Call recording. So any conversation that happens while you're at home or on the phone or cell phone is actually recorded and stored. That can be uh, checked at a later time. And the third is actually web fax. Uh, we're finding that, believe it or not, fax still exist. So when someone's at home, they're not gonna buy an analog fax machine anymore. Those days are kind of over. So web fax gives the ability for an inbound fax to be distributed to an email address. And then multiple people can check a web fax right from their email and manage it as they see fit electronically. Uh, and some of the industries that, we, that we're servicing right now, it seems like faxing isn't gonna be going away anytime soon, whether that's medical or legal. Um, sure, they'll have for to compliance. They'll have mm -hmm. to explain to me why faxes are, are more compliant than email, but that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> uh, All right. Head over to the next slide, Adam. And I'm going to kick it over to Damon to cover some of the newer products available on our system. Okay, so we're, we're, we're proud to announce that Telecloud now has HD video. HD video, much like Zoom and Teams, allows us to run video conference calling or audio conference calling right from your user portal in Telecloud. Uh, you can see a picture there. We run our daily company huddle. That's every day at 10.05 a.m., we all log in to get on the same page because we are remote and this seems to be the best way for us to keep everyone coordinated. Um, they come in different sized options, five users, 10 users, 25 users, 50 users, and is, there's also a webinar component to this. Uh, this would be perfect for a client that wants to start using some video conferencing and isn't or you already embedded using Microsoft Teams or Zoom. This would be a perfect option for you. It's ready to go and uh, we're happy to roll this out later this month. Oh, uh, this one's great. So, so many of us now are investing in either customer relationship management softwares, um, online applications that are, ever, are, are more available than ever before, whether it's a Zendesk, a HubSpot, a Salesforce. Uh, we're now able to provide integrations. And, and what do those integrations really do? Because that's what matters. When a call comes in from one of your clients, we can take the caller ID, look up 
the client record in the database and go right to that record at the desktop level. So there's no more going to say, hey, what account are you? What phone number are you in? It really streamlines that automation. And for your high call volume environments, it saves time. Conversely, we call people back. It happens every day. So if we're going to look up a record in a software other than our platform, whether it's Salesforce or HubSpot, Outlook, we can now click to dial and it'll initiate an outbound call for a ring. And once again, the goal is to save time. Now that's just the beginning level of the integrations. In some of our industries, we can do even more. Um, we're recording calls now for clients that really need to keep that call recording for quality assurance or training purposes. We can embed a link now from our call recording into your CRMs. And, and those are some of the deeper integrations that we now work with what's called an API, which is open architecture to provide more detailed custom integrations. And the analogy I'll give everyone is uh, certain things, you know, we can buy clothes off the rack and they fit reasonably well, but sometimes we have to go to the tailor to really dial it in. And our API and development work dials it in even further. Um, lastly, for Microsoft Teams, that's its own integration. So Microsoft Teams, and we talked about how many people are using it daily. That allows you to do your dialing from Teams, whether it's from your desktop or mobile Teams application, to make and receive calls using your corporate phone system. We also can embed functionality in there so you can transfer calls, park calls, log into agent queues, and it's all embedded into the Teams ecosystem. For some of you that I see on our call, I know that's pretty important to you. So we can talk about more of this offline or afterwards, one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Adam, we have our contact center customers, the ones that um, seeing their analytics uh, and their agents and servicing their client calls are very important to them. Um, what does this now do? So I think one of the, the biggest struggles with no longer being centralized in an office is trying to figure out who is you know currently available, who's on a call, um, and the performance of agents. And so this is our, our telecloud uh, call center dashboard. And what this is, is a kind of one page, one panel of glass where you're going to get a lot of stats. You're going to see agents availability. You're going to see how many calls they've handled that day. Um, and then you can also, as you see in the right side of the picture, see it on a queue level as well. And we've really seen two use cases that have really, really uh, taken advantage of this. One is, like I kind of mentioned, the people who have now no longer are all in one office. They're working in smaller offices or even at home offices. And so this is nice for a manager to have up on their second or third monitor all day just to kind of look at it and, you know, be able to look over quickly and say, oh, this person's on a call. This person's on a call. I need to get in contact with them. Oh, why has, you know, this person taken 14 calls and the other person's only taken two. And it just gives you very quick stats to look at um, and see how everything is performing. But the other option is if you are still in person is you can put this on a television screen. So it's not just um, the supervisor who's gonna be monitoring, but uh, the whole team can see what's going on. They can see how they're performing. They can see how they're performing against other people as well as how the queue is doing. They can make sure that they're not missing any calls and that their average times are uh, well within the bounds that have been set for them. Yep, and, and what we found is anyone that's using this is really looking to improve their, their client experience. So, so for the businesses that need this type of technology, you can dial in the analytics specific to your business so that the color coding is based on whatever your normal is, whether you want to answer phone calls in 30 seconds or, or three minutes. Uh, we customize all this to you. Thanks, Adam. Um, the last thing I think we should talk about, guys, uh, before we go into any summary pricing and Q&A is, is the fact that we can SMS enable our uh, phone numbers now on the platform. Um, so, so many of us that are, use these devices, you know, can live in a, you know, a text message world. And um, the stat that we've seen is emails now, and I think we're all inundated with emails, uh, don't get responded to quickly at all. Uh, some of us have adopted products like Slack or the TeleCloud instant message tool that's built into our platform, or even something like a WhatsApp. And that's the way we're communicating with our teammates. But lastly, we now have text messaging. So we can enable any phone number on our platform to make and receive text messages to the outside world. And what happens is now if someone accidentally Texas, your DID, which happens sometimes because we have one contact record, it'll come through the telecloud platform as an instant message. And if you're not available because you're not logged into our portal or mobile application where it'll show up, it'll transcribe it into an email. 
So you're always getting your text messages now, but you're not necessarily giving away your cell phone number. And we believe that this is a huge thing that can improve the client experience. Um, Text messaging applications are just getting started. Uh, For those of us that know our famous New Jersey entrepreneur, Gary Vaynerchuk, he just started a business with his dad called Wine Texts. You can text and get bottles of wine overnight now. So uh, if you if if you take the instant nature of text messages and how it can end up at your device, I think you're going to see text messaging applications are just getting started. The, the trick is to use them right so you don't inundate yourself and give your clients a great experience. Uh, with Dan, that being I, said, I had a few questions that came in on the web chat. I was going to direct them to you. Sure. OK, here's the first question. I have one of the client, one of our clients. Is there a fee? to for a user to use the user portal the saw phone if we're currently paying for that extension no the the web phone the mobile application um our user portal that's all part of your telecloud license subscription got it okay there's a couple more that came in let me find uh let me find one right here how do i know if my polycom phone can use wi-fi at home uh great question uh, Adam, if I could defer that answer to you, please. <laughs> yep. So if you're uh, if you know what model phone you have, it's going to be any of the 250s, 350s, or 450s by default, as well as the 311s and the 411s. If you're confused about that, the easiest way is just going to be to call in because we have uh, access to all of those records and can uh, look it up on a phone by phone or even company by company basis. Um, the other quick one is that if it has a USB port on it. Um, so just like one of those standard ones you'd see on your computer, it's a pretty good odd that it's going to work, but it's always safest to just call in. Great. Thanks. Got it. Uh, n- one last question. The telecloud mobile app and saw phone does texting currently work on it now? No. Texting is something that we have to enable on your phone numbers. Um, and the reason we need to do that is uh, th- there's setup required. Um, as well as it is um, a chargeable fee. We have a bundle now for $3 per phone number, which allows you to get up to a thousand text messages, which is plenty. So um, one of the things that we should say is if anyone wants to take advantage of any of the technology we talked about, we're offering a 60 day trial for anything that you would like to try. Uh, This is no risk stuff. You guys are our clients. We love you. And uh, we want you to take advantage of whatever we have available for you. So Got it. And once you uh, head over to the next slide, Adam. Yeah, to make this easier for you, because you're your existing clients of ours, if you have any questions, because it's all particular to your business, just email sales at telecloud.net. Um, this is my personal direct dial line now. So you can always feel free to call me if I'm on a call and just leave a voicemail and I'll call you right back. But um, the easiest way I would say is email sales at telecloud.net. And then we could schedule a time to talk, which might be a little easier if I'm not physically at my uh by my phone yeah but we have the next hour guys we 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 intentionally left ourselves open so if anyone has any questions or wants any follow-up on this just reach out to us right now we're we're hanging out uh to handle anything one one more question dame from one of our clients can you explain telecloud hd video again um it's a pretty open-ended question sure sure adam uh adam would you mind just pulling up your screen so that uh you, you may say, guys, why are we using Zoom, right, um, instead of our product to, to do our demo? And the reason is because we can't show you our software if we're on our software. So, Adam, if you just wouldn't mind. So, Telecloud HD Video, what it allows us to do is much like we're on this presentation right now with Zoom, it's, it's very similar. Uh, clients can call it, clients or teammates can call in and have an audio conference call or a video conference call. And you can get to that through our user portal. And it's simply a video conference um, that you can set up. Separately, you can run a webinar. And as you saw with uh, what we're doing today, this is a webinar format where you're giving now a presentation where you're sharing your screen. So uh, we have more detailed information on the features that are included in our HD video, but that is the gist of it. And it's once again, something we have to enable and turn on for you to try. Awesome. Does that answer your question, Priscilla? I hope I don't see okay. her chat. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. And oh, last question. I know we're wrapping up. We were 12.55, so we're good with time. Is uh, when will the texting NHC video be available? Well, the texting is available now. 
we would just have to activate it. Uh, Dame, why don't you address the availability for sure, the video? Sure, video will be later available by the end of the month. Um, we'll be publishing our pricing and allowing our clients to start to take advantage of that. Once Wonderful. again, if anybody wants to try it for 60 days, uh, you know, by all means, we'll get you set up immediately.